Properly installing non-insulated piggyback terminals is easy with the proper tools. We'll be using 10 gauge marine wire, piggyback disconnects, and epoxy lined heat shrink. We'll also be using a compact wire stripper, a crimper, and a heat tool from our production facility. The first step is to measure the wire to the proper length and cut it using our stripping tool. With our wire cut, we'll move on to stripping the insulation. Once we know the correct amount of insulation to remove, we'll use the cut nest from our compact wire stripper and close the tool around the wire. Next, we'll pull the tool away from the wire, removing the insulation. This tool offers multiple cut nests to handle a wide range of wire sizes. It also has a tapered plier nose that can be used to grip, twist, bend, or pull. Lastly, this tool offers a sharp cutting blade ideal for cutting solid and stranded wires as large as 10 gauge. Before we add the terminal, let's slide our epoxy lined heat shrink over the wire. Now, we're ready to put the piggyback terminal into the proper crimp nest. Next, we'll insert the wire, making sure that the insulation butts up to the barrel of the terminal. By simply closing the tool, we've completed one full ratchet cycle. This tool offers five separate crimp nests and works with wires ranging from 22 gauge to 10 gauge. It also offers ratcheting action, which reduces operator fatigue. After inspecting the crimp, we'll slide the epoxy lined heat shrink up and over the connection point. Keep your heat gun at a safe distance and move it back and forth in consistent motions. Our heat gun is easy to use. It's compact, lightweight, and can reach temperatures of up to 1000 degrees Fahrenheit. And there you have it. We've just created a high quality electrical connection. You'll find the wire, terminals, heat shrink, and tools you've seen here at pacergroup.net.